Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your bonus reading for April. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. So, Cancer, we're going to take a look at um, a little peek into love, a little peek into life, which is more of a general kind of reading. could be about anything. And then we'll get some messages, guidance, advice for you from Spirit, the universe. And then we'll clarify these energies with Tarot. So let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. So my intention with this is if um, your monthly, some of them didn't resonate for you, then maybe something here will. And please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Don't try to make it fit if it's not your reading or you know whatever doesn't resonate for you. Uh, this could be past, present, future. Energies can be interchangeable. And everything you need to know is down below in the description box. Please check that out. A lot of stuff down there. And um, if you are new and would like to subscribe, you get about five readings a month. And if you do, don't forget to hit the bell. And thank you. All right. So, Cancer, let's see what's going on with you in love. What's going on in this bonus? Wow. Well, let's just want one. And then we'll take the bottom of the deck for Cancer. What's going on in this bonus reading and love for Cancer Spirit, please? Let's take that one. We have Our Lady of Peaceful Change. 12 is 3. 3 is about teamwork, collaboration, um, that kind of energy. And this is the Mother Mary deck. So this is like uh, Our Lady. It talks of Mother Mary. But also it can be universal energy. It can be, you know, whatever here. So divine energy, but I feel like there could be some sort of peaceful change coming for you in a connection or in your love life in some way. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have Our Lady of Sacred Union. Well, now, so we have 73, uh, 37, I'm sorry, which is 10. 10 is a completion of something here and one is a new beginning. So we could have a sacred union coming into place here. So there could be it could be somebody that you worked with, or it could be somebody you know from your social communities, your friends, uh, kind of energy. Or maybe what was a friendship is now changing into a very sacred union here between friends becoming lovers, perhaps. So it's like ending of a friendship. And now a sacred union of two soulmates. Very peaceful transition, like just happens naturally. Wow. Okay. I'm getting like, didn't even really have to work up at it. It just kind of happened for some of you. All right. So cancer, let's see. <laughs> and look what came up, physical health. <laughs> All right. So I'm not taking those, but this is for your life portion for cancer, for this bonus reading spirit, please. Thank you so much. Take a look at life. So it could be anything. We could love again, we could work, career, finance, friends, family, whatever's going to come out here, uh, personal growth, expansion, whatever comes out here. I'll shuffle. Feeling one more. Okay. For Cancer, for this bonus reading. In life. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. This is a, that one, a big deck. Okay. Creativity. Imagination, expression, originality, and passion. We have 35, which is 8. And 8 is about taking action, communication, traveling. There's no traveling right now. But while we're in this downtime for some that don't have to work, now is the time to use your imagination. Do something original. Express yourself some way, shape, or form. Whether it's music, singing, writing, dancing, I don't know, whatever here and something passionate so it could be starting something creative or like restarting something creative that you're very passionate about that maybe you just didn't have the time to do before and now it's like okay i got all this downtime so now it's time to get creative and on the bottom of the deck well we have sexuality openness sharing beauty and honor so I have 13 there, which is four, which is about stability, foundation, basis. Maybe it's just a time for you and your partner to get creative sexually. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're going to clarify these energies with tarot. So, <laughs> oh, cancer. What the heck? All right. So let's see what's going on here. 
what's going on here? You know, a lot of downtime. Maybe there's nothing else to do, but... <laughs> so maybe it's time to get creative and think of uh, something else to do. <laughs> All right, so... You might make a baby, so be careful if you can. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's get some guidance, advice, messages from spirit, the universe for you. For cancer, please, for this bonus reading. What are the messages for cancer, please? Advice, guidance, messages for cancer for this bonus reading. Thank you so much. Let's take that one. Seek hidden treasure. Hmm. Okay. And raise your vibration. So, hmm, see, hidden treasure. Oh. I don't know. When we get to the tower, we'll clarify all, the, all that energy. Raise your vibration. Hmm. I don't have any energy here so far of being in a low vibration, but uh, we'll see. Seek hidden treasure. So maybe there's something that you haven't done or seeked out in a very long time, and it's time to like get back. Maybe like going through artifacts, going through things in your attic, your basement. Maybe you haven't like gone through that stuff in a very long time. There may be something in there that may be hidden. That like if you just recently got some uh, stuff from like your parents or siblings or something like that, you've been storing it. Or you inherited some stuff, but you really haven't gone through it. And now's a good time to do that. You may find something in there that, and it may not be of like a monetary treasure. It could just be something like old pictures or souvenirs or trinkets or something um, that you didn't know was there. So you may want to look into that, if that makes sense for anybody. All right. So and if some of you are feeling a little low and down because of the times, if you're at home, if you are, um, you know, shelter in place and you're just feeling kind of blah, you know, do something maybe just creative here. You know, try something new to raise your vibration. All right. So it may be sexually. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on in love. And it's just kind of, this relates to me to over here, especially if it was more um, of a platonic friend, you know, relationship. And now it's gotten to a point where it's more of a romantic relationship. And maybe just before this quarantine happened, you haven't gotten, you know, you haven't been intimate yet with this person. Maybe I'm thinking for some of you. All right. So cancer. Answer. Let's see. Too many. In love. What's this sacred union and Our Lady of Peaceful Change? About four. Cancer. Okay. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. Very slow moving, steady kind of energy. And the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new beginning. Stable new beginning. Built on a firm foundation. Taking slow movement forward. Uh, not rushing it. This was slow growing, slow moving. But it's the breath of something new. And it's long and it's stable for the long term. So definitely, or you could have definitely, I felt that either worked with this person or something like that. But we do have success and victory here with the Six of Wands. All right. So let's see what else. So let's see, successful new beginning here. So taking, you know, taking your time, not rushing, slow moving, slow building, slow growth. But it's definitely... Uh, will lead to a lot of growth, abundance, expansion, prosperity between the two. So now we have the Nine of Pentacles energy here. So you both could have been single. A lot of earth energy here. A lot of pentacle energy. The hangman. So yeah, and I had said that. We're in a pause of limbo right now. So maybe you both, you know, you're in your separate corners and kind of look having the connection, but yet living in a single life because of the situation we're in right now. So everything's on a, is on a pause, a break right here. Everything's all tied up right now because of the world. So what else for 
Let's see. So the Ace of Swords. So we got, wow, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. So this is knowing divine energy. Also, truth, clarity, epiphany, aha moment, um, open, honest, truthful communication, success, very successful new beginning here. So, wow. Oh, do we have the Ace of Pentacles? No, we have the Knight and the, yeah, and the Ace. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. So, wow, two Aces. So a lot of truth, clarity, honesty, stability, long-term, success, victory. You both could have been, you know, definitely single, obviously, before, but now you're kind of still in that energy because of the, you know, situation here. But it's moving slowly also because of the situation. And, you know, kind of stuck, frozen in time as, like, with the hanged man. But I do see success and victory here. I see passion, stability. Um, we love fortune. So this is fate, destiny, divine timing. Uh, something meant to be. Things, things will be getting better. Things will be getting better here. So... Didn't see any cups for love, but uh, we do have sacred union. So, all right. So let's see. All right. For you, Cancer, what is this sexuality and creativity about? What's all this? So we have the devil energy here. Toxic energy, very fiery, passionate be just a very a lot of fire and passion with this connection also and maybe kind of frustrated because of uh, current situations haven't allowed you yet to be intimate with this person you're both kind of feeling like that frustration i'm kind of feeling so it's time to get creative in some way um the emperor here so we have you could be male or female watching this but the emperor is a kind of masculine energy well, it is masculine. So you could be female with masculine or male with masculine or whatever. But you could be just, you know, having some sexy talk. You know, uh, God's so hot here, it's falling out of my hand. You could be having some very passionate conversations back and forth. Um, texting kind of energy. Or sexting, whatever you're doing here. But maybe that's, you know, get creative here. <laughs> oh, if you can't be with this person. All right, what else here? Knight of Cups. So definitely this love will be moving forward. There's definitely love moving forward here. Knight of Cups. Taking action towards love. All right. And I'm seeing like this one looking at this one, like looking at each other, but from a distance. All right. What else here? Three of Cups. So they will be reuniting, coming together. This time will come with your person uh, it's not right now, but the Three of Cups could be a summertime. Finally, finally, this moving forward, coming together. Finally being able to be fully with this person. Seven of Cups. So choices, options, confusions. You could be daydreaming about them because you can't be with them right now. Everything's kind of up in the air. So we do have the Four of Swords energy here, which could be, you know, in your head. And it's also about, you know, um, retreating alone time. So eventually, you know, of course, being apart from one another. But King of Cups here. So definitely there is love here between two people. Heartbroken, Three of Swords, that you can't be with them right now. But this will lead to the Ten of Cups. Total love, fulfillment, joy, happiness, happy home and family in every single way. So heartbroken because you can't be with them right now. So you need to get creative, whether it's uh, passionate, sexy time, texting, talking, whatever here. Um, could be daydreaming about them. And I think you're both feeling the tension of not being able to be with each other in all ways. So it's time to get creative. But I do see coming back together when we can and going right up to the Ten of Cups here. Total fulfillment in every single way. King of Cups, King or Queen. Definitely... Um, Somebody having a lot of love here could be, you know, both of you. I see lust, fire, passion, but I also see truth, clarity, and stability also. Divine energy. So let's see. Let's see what this hidden treasure and raise your vibration is about. Cancer. 
the world. Something could have ended here. Um, the world is about endings, cycles closing, and new beginnings. If some of you traveled the world in, or you, um, like I said, if your parents or somebody in your family or something traveled the world throughout their lifetime, <clears throat> and now you have a lot of their things, but you never went through them, this, there, there could be things in there that uh, would be beneficial for you to like kind of go through for some of you, if that makes sense. Three ones. Again, could be about a distance. Uh, waiting for your ships to come in. Somebody could have traveled by cruise, ship, boat, maybe in their lifetime, like a lot. Maybe they traveled the world by sea or something like that. And uh, collected like a lot of artifacts and things. And maybe you didn't really go through them yet. So it's like maybe time to... You may find something here and be like really happy that you found something that will raise your energy and your vibration for some of you. Or some of you here have been waiting to close out a cycle. We have justice. So, yeah. Uh, justice coming in, fate, destiny, um, getting justice, serving justice, truth, clarity, things balancing out. Could be something in the... Um, Legal matters for some. I'm not really getting that, though. Um, having truth and clarity. All right, so what else here? So we have the Ten of Cups again. So there's two Ten of Cups in this deck, and now you got it again. So whatever you find here, whatever hidden treasure you find, and I said that will make you feel happy. This is happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Some sort of justice will be served to you. You could find paperwork, documents. You could find, I don't know, something here. Now we have the Four of Cups energy. So it's about feeling bored and complacent kind of energy. So, you know, you, you just could be sitting at home. You do have a ho home here. Feeling bored, complacent, and blah. But if there's some cleaning or things you've been thinking about doing and you haven't done them, uh, again, like going through your attic or your basement or storage or something, you, you I think you're going to find some hidden treasures that's going to make you very happy. If that makes sense for anybody here, let's get one more. Five of Wands. May cause conflict, though, between family or friends or something, so be careful. Somebody could have passed away. And left you um, a lot of things. And I felt that energy, but I didn't want to say it. So, of course, uh, Spirit's going to make me say it. So, that always happens. So, if somebody recently passed away, or maybe even years ago, and you just never went through the things because you couldn't. Because, you know, it was hard for you to do that. And so, you had this inner conflict, especially with the Five of Wands and that Four of, of Cups of feeling kind of, you know, uh, I don't know if I can. But... Um, yeah, something will bring you healing and balance and bring you to a much better place, probably emotionally if you do. Maybe enable you to manifest a brand new beginning in some way. So, and I do see uh, High Priestess here. Listen to your gut, your intuition, how you're knowing. You may want to keep it a secret, whatever you find. Uh, don't tell a lot of people. I don't know why, but Spirit wants you to know that, not to tell Anybody kind of keep it to yourself, if that makes sense for you. Okay, Cancer, that's what I have for you. Best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.